Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So in today's comparison video, we're looking at torches. Um, so these two, I've got two fairly similar torches from two of the big brands. We've got Mara's over here and we've got Scuba Pro on this side. And uh, and these are both kind of recreational primary torches. Um, they're kind of in the similar uh, sort of output level. Um, they're both rechargeable. And, um, and yeah, we're just gonna be taking a closer look just to see uh, which one falls over first Turns out it's the Mara's. And, um, and yeah, just try and work out sort of which one's better for what type of diver. And, um, and yeah, sort of what features is uh, sort of really useful on a torch. Um, so let's dive straight into it. Let's compare the Mara's EOS 10RZ to the Scuba Pro Nova Lite 850R. Okay, so let's take a look and see what you get inside of the box. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with the Mares. Uh, so as you can see, it comes in one of these modern day uh, sort of semi-rigid cases, which is really good. They both come in one of those. Um, the Mares one is a darn sight bigger though. So uh, single zipper opening. It's got Mares all over the front. Uh, and then inside, so we have Book of Words and uh, the, the usual bump that you get with torches, how to use it and how to um, sort of not screw it up. Um, handy little pocket in there that you can keep sort of spares or whatnot. Um, you get a recharging cable. Um, so a standard USB cable plugs in just like your, uh, your mobile phone or your smart tablet. Um, and that's one benefit of the EOS um, 10RZ is that you can just plug it into a USB port. Um, you don't need a dedicated uh, sort of charging cradle. You get a little lanyard um, with some adjustment on that. So you can uh, always, always use a lanyard just in case um, because if you drop your torch, it's gone. Um, you've got a spare O-ring seal, um, some silica gel. Um, so this isn't a traditional O-ring. This is more like a gasket or something uh, because it's quite wide and, um, and that just creates a, a, a really wide ceiling area. But you get a spare one of those. Um, and then you get your torch itself. It does come with a battery. I've already put it inside um, just to make sure that it was charged. And, uh, and then you get the torch itself. Um, the box, you can take that central bit out if you want to use it just as a storage box. They're always handy. Uh, okay, so the torch itself, anodized aluminium. Um, it's got that sort of gunmetal gray, uh, sort of matte finish to it, which is smart. Um, you've got that uh, sort of plastic push button uh, with a locking mechanism, which is quite smart. The previous version of this didn't. Um, so um, yeah, that way it's not gonna activate unless you uh, sort of undo that. So when you're storing it. Uh, you've got a nice matte sort of rubberized ring around the, uh, the front of the head. And this is how you're gonna change the beam angle. Um, that's got a nice smooth action to it. Um, so yeah, the overall looks and feels is very smooth to, uh, to the touch. Um, it's it's not overly heavy. It feels about as heavy as it should be for this size, if that makes sense. Um, decent sized battery in there, which is rechargeable. And um, yeah, the overall aesthetics, it's a smart, good looking torch. I definitely like it. Um, so let's take a look at the Scuba Pro. So the 850R uh, is the smaller version of the 850. Um, so you can choose between a rechargeable or a, um, a sort of disposable battery torch. Uh, to compare these two, I chose the, uh, the rechargeable battery. Uh, smaller case, but just the same sort of semi-rigid material. Uh, single zipper again, opening it up. Uh, again, more book of words, the usual how-tos. Uh, a USB recharging cable, uh, exactly the same with that sort of micro USB port. A, uh, another lanyard, except this is a clip lanyard. Um, so you can thread that on and then clip it off to a D-ring, which is quite nice. Um, I imagine that is long enough. You can probably fit that over your wrist and the torch as well. So yeah, it's a uh, sort of comprehensive lanyard. Um, inside here, you have the torch itself. Uh, and then if I remove some of this padding, you also get the recharging cradle. Um, so this is where it differs um, between the Mara's and the, uh, the Scuba Pro. Um, and then you just get the recharging battery. This is just a box for it because it's already in the torch. And um, yeah, you can take all of that padding out and again, have yourself a nice little uh, sort of semi-rigid box. Um, torch itself, so this is black. 
Uh, it's a matte black. It's got that kind of flash of electric blue, which is very funky. Um, you've got a metal button on it compared to the plastic button on that. Uh, battery level indicator, which I don't believe the uh, the EOS does. Um, so that's nice. Right now, you might be able to see it's glowing blue. It's quite bright in the studio. Um, you've got a little um, sort of cap over the top of the torch so you don't blind yourself when it's a bit too close, which is quite cool. Uh, but you can take that off if you don't want to. That's just a bit of uh, sort of rubber silicone. Um, yeah, it's it's much smaller uh, compared to the um, to the Mario's, obviously. Um, but of course, different specs. And um, yeah, again, anodized aluminium, matte black, that electric blue. You've got um, a really big, um, it's a lanyard loop on the back here, which is really handy, because um, if you want to tie on a bolt snap, you want a decent um, sort of chunky amount, so you can thread uh, sort of multiple lines through that. Uh, and other than that, yeah, I kind of like the style of it. Um, it's black, I kind of lean more towards gunmetal gray, uh, because a lot of my stuff's just black and it's um, it just gets a bit, a bit dark. Um, but yeah, I like the aesthetics to it. Uh, I'm not 100% sold on this um, this little hood, but you can remove it if you want to. Um, it does give it another um, kind of flair to it, and it does it does protect your eyes from a bit of um, uh, that sort of blinding when you've got the torch on. Um, yeah, as an overall, uh, I'm giving the edge to the Mares because you can charge it inside the um, inside the torch, whereas the Scuba Pro you have to open it up and then put it in a cradle. Um, it's not the end of the world, but um, but yeah, I'm, I'm giving the edge to the um, to the Mares EOS 10RZ at this point. Okay, so for the specifications, we're going to, I'm gonna go through the numbers first and then I'm gonna switch them on so you can physically see um, the difference between the beams as long as that one stays upright. Um, so the EOS 10RZ has 1,010 lumens, um, can be a nice even 1,000, um, but over 1,000 lumens. And then the 850, as the name suggests, has 850 lumens. So it's a little less powerful, um, or this one's a bit more powerful, depending on which way you look at it. Um, but as as I look at it, my kind of sweet spot for like Red Sea, like blue water diving, night diving, um, anything over about 500 lumens, it's just a little bit too much uh, because as soon as you shine it on something, the fish don't like it, they disappear. Um, your body gets blinded if you look anywhere near them. Um, you get blinded if you get too close to the white sand um, and it just kind of reflects. So actually both of these are a little too overpowered um, for like a nice sort of night dive. Um, but if you're diving somewhere a bit murkier and you need to cut through, then you need to um, sort of go towards a, um, uh, a higher lumen count so it can pierce through so that you can see and people can see you. Um, so the beam angles, so we've got a tight eight degree spotlight on the um, on the Nova, the 850, um, compared to a, um, it's a 12 to 75 on the, um, on the Mars EOS because you can adjust the beam angle. The 850 is available in two different variations, the spotlight or the wide angle. So you can choose between a, um, a spotlight or a floodlight. Um, but with the Mares, you don't have to make that choice because you can do that whilst you're in the water. Um, I very rarely use spotlight, uh, I'm sorry, I very rarely use floodlights. Um, I only ever tend to use um, sort of spotlights. Um, because it just it focuses on one particular thing, you can communicate that much easier. And um, if if you send it into a, a floodlight, it's great in sort of nice clean blue waters. Uh, but anywhere else, and it just it diffuses too much. So it's, I always lean towards a, um, a spotlight. Um, burn times. So we have two very different batteries inside of this. Uh, we've got an 18650 inside the Nova. Uh, I can't actually remember what size is in the um, the 10. Show you all this in a second. Um, inside, a much bigger. This is a two six, yeah, two six six fifty. Um, so a much bigger battery. Um, so that drastically changes the burn time. So we've got one hundred and twenty minutes on the um, on the eight fifty uh, compared to one hundred and thirty five. Uh, so it's only 15 minutes longer, but you're producing that much more light. Um, so that's where it's going to. Um, 
it's not a great deal when it's at full power. You can dial this down so it's not the full thousand lumen um, sort of being spat out, but um, but yeah, the burn times aren't that much difference for the size of the batteries. Uh, so we've got an XPL LED in the front of the um, uh, of the Scuba Pro compared to an XML2 uh, in the um, in the Mares. Uh, now, I'm sure the techie techie guys can really kind of boil that down and make that something interesting. Um, for me, they produce a slightly different colored temperature um, that we'll take a look at when it's sort of shining on the table, but that's not really a selling point for me, the different LEDs. Um, any other features? We've got an overpressure valve on the uh, on the bottom of the, uh, the Scuba Pro, which is quite nice. It also has this um, sort of nut uh, detailing around the side of it so that it doesn't tend to roll around very easily um, except just there um, so that just means that when you put it down it tends to stay exactly where you want it to um, you can't stand it up with that uh, sort of rubber side so you have to do it that way around um, yeah Overpressure valve just means that if, in the unlikely event that water does make its way in, you can disassemble the torch and get the nasty battery out. Um, otherwise, the pressure kind of builds up on the inside and then you'll never get it off and then you have to write the entire torch off. So that's quite a nice feature, um, just an overpressure valve, just in the unlikely event that it floods. Uh, I don't believe the Maris has that feature. Uh, but what it does have, it does have that that I just showed you a second ago. Um, if you unscrew this sort of back section, then you can charge it up through there, through your USB port, so you don't have to physically take the battery out every time. Um, someone asked me, well, surely the benefit is is that you, you don't have to take the battery out so that way you don't have to compromise the seal, but you are compromising that seal every time you open it. So it's uh, it's sort of swings and roundabouts. It's, it's a nice feature. It means you don't have to carry a cradle and everything. You just have to carry a USB cable. Um, but yeah, that is a, um, a feature. The only other thing is the uh, is the recommended retail price. So we've got 186 British pounds uh, for the Mars EOS 10RZ compared to 155. So it's a little bit cheaper. Um, you've seen exactly what they sort of come with. They come with the batteries and the charger and all that kind of stuff. So switching them on. Um, so the Mares undo that little um, sort of switch and then turning it on, we can see it's a nice bright light. Uh, I'll do the same for the Scuba Pro, uh, the Scuba Pro also has a, um, a sort of locking mechanism. I don't know if you can see these two uh, on the table. I'll shine them against my chest in a second. But the the Mara is, is a much sort of whiter, more clinical light um, compared to the Scuba Pro, which is a sort of a warmer, yellower light. Um, they both have hot spots and, uh, and sort of halos around it. Um, when it's in sort of full spotlight mode, the, um, the Scuba Pro is a little bit larger kind of halo. So you can still like focus on an object, but you can still see around it, so it's a good sort of all-rounder. Um, you can see it's, or well, you might be able to see, it, it's not perfectly round because it does have this cowl um, sort of at the top, just meaning that the light doesn't go out quite as much, uh, but you can remove that if you wanted to. Um, only one power mode on the um, on the Scuba Pro. Um, you can go sort of high beam or low beam and then off, and that's kind of it. Compare that to the Mares, and this has full beam uh, and then like a middle, and then it has this strobe, which is a bit intense for me. Um, and um, you can either have all of those modes in that sort of wide, sort of open, Floodlight, which is really nice for sort of open scenes. Um, and then you can immediately focus that into a spotlight. So it's a bit more sort of comprehensive. You can, um, you can turn it into a spotlight or a floodlight depending on uh, sort of what you need it for. Um, but as a general sort of day-to-day -day torch, I, it's not really a feature um, that I'm looking for in a torch, but it is quite fancy. Um, other than that, the weight, uh, the Scuba Pro is a lot lighter compared to the uh, the Maris, but it's got a much smaller battery inside of it and it is much smaller. Um, the 10RZ isn't the biggest torch that Maris do, but it is a big, uh, sort of primary size torch, especially in that head, because they've um, had to fit all this mechanism in to um, to move that uh, sort of lens to focus the light. It does make it a, a bigger torch. It's not 
cumbersome or overly big, uh, but it is noticeably big when you compare it to the Nova. The Nova is a little small for my liking. I tend to um, sort of have a slightly more compact torch um, as a primary when I'm sort of diving abroad. And then when I'm diving in the UK, I have something much, much bigger, but they're in um, sort of different leagues as it were. Um, but overall, as far as specifications, the Mares again is kind of winning. It's more expensive, but it's got this, the bigger battery and um, the sort of additional features. Um, so let's boil that all down and see what I reckon in the conclusion. Okay, so with that all in mind, let's kind of boil down who these torches are aimed at. The Mares is definitely aimed at the modern sort of recreational diver. Um, they're diving abroad as well as at home um, because it's got that thousand lumens, it's got enough light to sort of penetrate through sort of murkier waters at home, but you can dial it down and step it down. It's very um, sort of customizable. It's not just a single torch, it's not just a floodlight, it's also a spotlight as well. Um, um, and that sort of emergency strobe. Whereas the Scuba Pro is almost leaning towards the techie diver who wants a just a single reliable torch, does its job, no frills, and, um, and that's it. Um, but which is best? Um, as far as the specifications, okay, the price is a little bit different. You've got about 30 pounds difference. Um, but the, the brightness of the EOS kind of stands out. Um, the battery burn time is, is one thing. Despite having a battery that's almost twice as big, you only get an extra 15 minutes of burn time. Um, but of course you can dial it down. You don't have to use that full thousand lumens. You can dial it down to 500 and extend that. Uh, the recharging, they're both rechargeable, but you can recharge the Mares um, sort of through the back. So that's kind of a selling point in that direction. The size, as much as the Mares is bigger, it's not that much bigger. Um, so really, I'm, I'm gonna give the edge to the Mares. It's always been the kind of the winner um, sort of throughout each of these stages, but there are some features that I'd like from the Scuba Pro put onto the Mares. Uh, the first one is a larger lanyard loop. Most people kind of overlook this. Um, but if you're if you're tying on bolt snaps, you want kind of a lot of space on there, so it's a bit easier to um, to tie um, things onto it. Um, and a battery level indicator is, uh, is is always nice, just so that you know when you're um, you're sort of about to run out of battery. Um, I wouldn't worry about the cowl. Uh, I think that's just a bit more aesthetics. I don't know how practical that is. It is nice, but. It's rare that my torch is that close to me that it's blinding myself. Um, and the, the, the color, I'm, I'm, it's, it's not a huge sort of selling point for me. But yeah, as far as the Mara is, you get a slightly bigger case as well, so you can store all sorts. It doesn't have to be your torch and um, accessories in with that. You can store anything. You've always got sort of tools and bits and bobs and spares um, that you always have when you're scuba diving. So it's nice to have someone to, um, to keep those. So yeah, in this video, I'm gonna be giving the edge to the Mara's EOS. Um, Again, they have a, a huge range all the way up to the 20s and down to like a 2RZ, uh, depending on what you need it for. But of course, which one would you buy? Um, do you prefer the Scuba Pro um, because it's simpler, it's just a simple button as opposed to a sort of a plastic sort of spring-loaded thing? Um, is the recharging in the body kind of a selling point for you? Um, that kind of double O-ring, it's not really an O-ring, it's more that sort of flat um, O-ring. No, I don't know. What do you guys reckon? Uh, also, what do you want me to compare in my next video? Let us know in the comments below um, if you have anything, any ideas that you want us to compare. At the moment, I just kind of grab something interesting off the shelf and just kind of try and mash them together, see which one is best in the moment. Um, let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then of course, don't forget to like and share it. That definitely helps with our numbers. And of course, hit on that bell icon so you can see more like it. And of course, we now have our Teesprings as well. So if you want some Simply Scuba merchandise, head over to the link below to check it out. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.